Hi everybody, it's Christina from Pretty Distressed. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be bringing you another thrift flip furniture makeover. And I'm also trying out a new paint today, Amy Howard at Home's One Step Paint. Just like all the other paints I use, there's no sanding, stripping, priming, but this one has the added benefit of that you don't have to use a top coat with it. So if you wanna see this paint in action, just keep watching. This is the furniture I'm going to be flipping today. I got this at a local thrift store. If you are new here, I do furniture flips like these every Friday, so please consider subscribing before you leave. You can also follow me on Instagram for more pictures of my work and behind the scenes. This is a very old solid oak piece. It even had a signature on the back, so I'm gonna be giving it new life today. I'm starting off by removing the hardware because I wanna use something a little bit fancier on here. And it was very dusty because it had been in the garage for a while, so I had to clear out all those cobwebs. And if you've been here for a while, you won't be surprised that I'm removing this back decorative piece. Just a quick disclosure for you guys. This video is not sponsored, but Amy Howard was kind enough to send me all these products that I'm going to be trying today. And when I get PR, I always like to try to get something for you guys. So Amy Howard is going to be giving away a paint and waxes and a brush today. So all I want you to do is comment down below and tell me what you would like to paint. This is their cleaner called Clean Slate, and it smells a lot like mineral spirits, but it doesn't have any petroleum in it. So you're going to be able to paint right over it and your paint's going to adhere really nice. All you do is saturate a cloth, wipe this on, and you let it dry for five minutes. And if you see any debris, you can wipe that back with a dry cloth. But I really love that you don't have to rinse it. Next, I grabbed a paintable wood filler and just filled up any of my gouges and scratches, I'll let that dry completely, and then sanded it with a 220 sandpaper. You can use a sanding block like I showed you. I have a surf prep sander, so that is all I use now. Once I'm done sanding, I'm just going to wipe everything down with a tack cloth and remove my drawers because I'm going to paint those separately today. Again, I'm gonna be trying out Amy Howard at Home One Step Paint for the first time today, and the color is Lakai Blue. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm gonna be using a zebra chiseled wedge and then the Amy Howard nylon to be putting this paint on today. A good quality synthetic brush is really gonna help with putting this paint on. Again, this is a furniture paint, so we're not priming, sanding, stripping back the finish. We're gonna be able to go right over top of this finished surface because we cleaned it up with that clean slate. One thing I must mention about this paint is that it smells amazing. And not only does it smell amazing when you open the can, but the scent kind of lasts after it dries. I don't know how long it's going to be before it goes away, but it is a nice surprise for anybody who has a sensitivity to smells. It smells really clean and fresh. But like the name states, this is a one step paint. So I am not going to have to top coat this once I'm done. I will have to do multiple coats, but I do not have to seal it with a top coat. I can add embellishments with if I want, but I'm going to leave it pretty simple today. And I watched this video on Amy Howard's YouTube channel before I jumped into my project. It was a new paint to me. So I wanted to see it in action and it was alive and it was very informative to me. So I'm going to link it down below for you guys as well. I liked using the zebra brush for my larger areas and then I grabbed the Amy Howard nylon brush to get my smaller areas like this. Most of the time I paint with my drawers out like this so I can get inside of the frame a little bit. When you put your drawers in, you don't realize how much of that stain you sometimes see through, how the drawers don't fit perfectly in there. So if you can see inside the cracks, you really wanna make sure that that's covered up with paint as well. Mm -hmm. 
This paint is different from a chalk style paint that really likes water. You're not gonna be able to add water to this, so you wanna get it on quickly and not overwork that paint because it's gonna give you drag and brush marks. Here is what it looks like after I let it dry for about an hour. You need about 30 minutes for it to dry, but since it was so cold in my garage, I gave it a little bit more time. Um, it dried down really smooth and beautiful, and I really love the finish. The color ended up being a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be when I picked it out. I originally thought I was going to lime the entire piece with a white wax, but I just thought this color was too light for that. So I'm going to keep it really simple and clean. And guess what? I don't have to top coat after this dries. I only needed two coats on this piece because the coverage was really great, so I let this dry overnight, and now it's time to show you what I did with the hardware. I have some old hardware from another piece that I think is going to look really good on here, but it is in rough shape. It's really <laughs> dingy and I want to clean it up. And I've seen a lot of people do a vinegar boil and then use a steel wool to clean old hardware up. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. Okay, so how I've seen this done is I'm going to just put a little bit of my hardware in here. I'm going to do two different sets um, so that they're going to have enough room and stuff in here. I'm gonna flip them over so they're like flat in the vinegar. I'm gonna bring that up to a boil. Then I grabbed some tongs too to be able to pull this out of the boiling vinegar. So I'm gonna give that three minutes and then pull them out. Okay, these are looking pretty coppery and from the videos I've watched, that's pretty normal. Now I'm gonna scrub it with this quadruple fine steel wool and it should make them look a little brassier. That is amazing. <laughs> this is the part right here that I've scrubbed and you can see it's really gold and beautiful compared to the part I haven't scrubbed yet. I am so impressed on the difference with these. I'm glad I finally tried this technique out. It was a lot of fun and it works. It's a really big mess though. So I probably wouldn't do this in the kitchen again. Maybe take it out to your workspace because the steel wool will shed and I totally ruined my towel that I put it on. So be prepared for that. The last step was just buffing them with a clean cloth and now I am ready to put my piece back together. So I'm gonna bring in my drawers and put on my hardware. One more thing, after I got this beautiful shiny hardware on here, I had to bling up these keyholes a little bit. So I grabbed some gold gilding wax and a little artist brush, and I lightly dusted that on there just to bring out the detail in the keyholes. So this was a pretty quick and easy update for me. Here's what it looks like before, and here is the after. I think she's so pretty. I love that I used this old hardware and using that trick with the vinegar was so fun. I will be doing that in the future. I really love how feminine these are, and I love the way that they go with this beautiful blue color.
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wanted to say thank you for helping me hit 200,000 subscribers here on YouTube. That happened this week. So amazing. Thank you for everybody who has hit that subscribe button. <laughs> I really appreciate you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, do that before you leave. Check out some of these other videos that I have. Um, I will be back next week with another project. Thanks for being here, you guys, and I will see you next time.